Hello Aquarius, this is your mini 2016 July mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what we've got for you. Please remember this is a general uh, reading for everyone and if you'd like a private session just about you, please feel free to stop by our website which is www.soulstarbliss.com and we'll see what we can do for you. But let's take a look here and see what's coming up for Aquarius here in July. Oh, it looks like there could be new beginnings. Things could be coming together. Possibility of many new things. Let's take a look and see if we can find some more uh, info on that. So it's like this is the right time for a new beginning. Possibly a new relationship. Possibly a new job. Maybe just starting over. It just seems like it's a really good time for you to start and put things into motion for yourself. Those worries that you've had in the past. You're going to learn from them and learn to let them go. Remember what we worry about or what we fear most. That's exactly what we're going to get. So let's all work on not worrying about things and trusting that we'll be taken care of. It says you can put some of the stuff that you've been worrying about to rest because a lot of talk, a lot of counsel. And counsel can be an attorney, it can be a therapist, but two good friends talking or two people talking can actually do quite a bit of of change too. So it looks like there's been a lot of talk about something that you're going to see a change in. Choice is going to be made. Something you're going to choose is going to be really good for you. But remember this, what's good about the choice you have to make, if you choose right and you should have choose left, it's still going to be okay. But remember choice number three is do nothing, nothing changes. You've learned a lot in the, in the past here. I'm taught, I want to say the last six months. So you kind of know what you want to do. You've drawn strength actually from things that have been going on and you are nobody's fool. Don't, don't feel like a fool. Don't listen to those around you outside of your circle or outside of your home. Talk that's needed at home can change things. Don't be talked out of things by those good meaning friends that are that really don't know the whole story. It says when your mind is filled with spirit, fills your body to overflowing, what you think about you become. Remember that. Some of you may be going on a little journey or possibly even thinking about moving. This is a good thing for you. That could have to do with work too. If you're thinking about changing jobs, make sure you think about it uh, seriously. All the pros and cons. Weigh them all and you'll see what to do. Wheel of Fortune says things are going to get better for you. There, you're going to have a reason to celebrate something that you've been working on. You've learned something. It says Spirit has guided you. You're learning more and more to use your intuition and trust those feelings that you get. When you can master that and trust, you know, with faith like a child, things really will start happening for you. It says, don't worry about the upheaval that's been. You know, you've already made it through most of it. Some of you have had some um, trouble in relationships, possibly even some upheaval. And those of you that are walking away are going to find peace with that. And those that want to stay and work it out, I think some of you are going to be able to work it out. But you're going to be making choices for your future. And they usually include someone else when the combo comes up like this. So trust yourself and do what's best for you. When you can put yourself first, love yourself enough to put yourself first, you'll have much more to give others around you. It says the apprenticeship, the time of working things out over and over again. What you've worked on, you're going to see results from. So don't listen to the masses around you telling you it's not going to work. It's going to be gaiety in the midst of change. Things do, yes, they go up and down, up and down. But you're going to be making some choices, and you're going to be making some wise choices with your wisdom. You are the chariot regarding those choices. That means one who achieves greatness. Major change coming in your finances. Uh, if, if, if your finances are good now, make sure that you know what's going on. Keep track of it. And those whose finances are not so good, I really feel there's going to be some kind of improvement there. Um, a, a change of the way of doing things. Sun card is yours, which means great happiness, happiness like a child. Also, I see that there's going to be a victory, and it's the sweet victory where there's more than one, uh, more than one winner. It says there's stuff going on you're not even aware. Of, excuse me, that you're not even aware of yet. Doesn't mean anyone sneaking, peeking, cheating, looking something like that. I'm just says there's something already in the works. It looks like a lot of you have worked on some details, especially family matters, and you're going to see a lot of joy from that. Again, I have another ace here, the ace of pentacles. What you need is going to show up for you in the monetary uh, situation. Some of you that are thinking of changing jobs, don't let it be just about money. Sometimes that is the, the carrot or the grass is greener over there. Make sure it's really what you want to do. 
but it looks like Aquarius, you're going to have a pretty busy month here, but you're also going to see results of things that have already been put into the work. So keep up your great work. This is Bonnie from SoulStarBliss.com. Thanks for dropping in today, and we're going to get those love and money tarots out for this month too, so make sure you're watching. Thanks again.